A monohybrid cross is one which involves only one trait. For this example, we'll look at stem height in pea plants. And let's say that you were told that tall pea plants were dominant to dwarf pea plants. Typically, you'll represent the tall allele, therefore the dominant one, with an uppercase letter such as the uppercase T, and the dwarf with a lowercase letter because it's recessive, so we'll use a lowercase T. So let's say that you're asked to cross a heterozygous tall plant with a dwarf plant. Each plant needs to have a genotype, and the genotype is going to be made up of two alleles. In the case of the heterozygous tall plant, because it's heterozygous, it indicates the two alleles are different. For the dwarf plant, the two alleles would be the same, as that's the only way that you could get a recessive phenotype. After you've identified the genotypes, you need to show the gametes produced from each plant. In the case of the heterozygous, one gamete might have an uppercase T, another a lowercase T, but from the dwarf you would only get lowercase T gametes. The gametes are produced through meiosis and therefore have only one allele. From the gametes, you can produce a Punnett grid, or sometimes known as a Punnett square, to show the probability of certain outcomes in terms of the genotypes of the offspring. So by adding together the alleles from the gametes of the parents, you can start to see the outcomes. First of all, the genotypic ratio would be 50% uppercase T, lowercase T, and 50% lowercase t, lowercase t. The uppercase t, lowercase t is obviously heterozygous, lowercase t, lowercase t, homozygous. For the phenotypic ratio, you have 50% tall plants that came from the uppercase t, lowercase t, and 50% dwarf plants, and that came from the lowercase t, lowercase t.